Hey guys, um, so just finished watching uh, Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 1, uh, Law of Nature. Um, and this episode is definitely very interesting. Um, oh, by the way, I'm do using my phone right here uh, to uh, to record this just because my computer's busy at the moment. Uh, but uh, So it might be a little bit shaky and uh, stuff, but uh, you know that's why it is. Hopefully it should be actually better, better video quality uh, because I'm using my... Uh, was it Nexus 6 there so it should have says it has a uh, 4k video but we'll see what the uh, you know how stable it is and stuff so if it's bump it's moving around and stuff like that that's why uh, it's because I'm using my phone that's where I got this uh, mic on and stuff so uh, yeah let's get right into this review this, this this episode was definitely very good it was very cool uh, and I was and I was thinking for a second there was like oh my god are they gonna do another uh, season opener without uh, Simmons in it, you know, with Simmons being away and gone, and they kind of did, but she was still in this first episode of season three, so it's definitely cool. Uh, definitely can't wait to see, uh, you know, season uh, episode two there with the whole Simmons stuff. That's gonna be so cool to see. Um, you know, there was uh, and seeing her with long hair and stuff, all that was gonna be pretty cool. I almost want to go back because she doesn't I don't remember her wearing that those clothes when she got sucked up and stuff like that. Uh, but then again, she might be, you know. Like, like they said, she's on the other side of the universe or something. Uh, I, I was thinking something like the Phantom Zone, kind of like in uh, uh, in Smallville, or was it Kara? She was like sucked into the Phantom Zone and she was stuck there for a long time, you know, or something like that. And they kind of, you know, she's she feels she was been in there longer than they than she actually was. Type thing, you know what I mean? Like in time, in there is a lot more faster than time just outside or something like that. I remember, like, in small, the Phantom Zone, a day there was, like, a year, or it was, like, it was, like, a month outside, you know, the Phantom Zone. So maybe something like that where, you know, a day outside is a month inside. So she's been in there for somewhat, at least almost a year, you know, uh, in the time, in a month or something like that, if they're going to do it that way. But if they say, like I said, just around the other universe and she's just kind of, you know, um, out, uh, out in a, like, she's just out on somewhere in the, in the other universe and there is no time difference that I don't know why she has so, such long hair but I feel like that might be at play just because of the whole long hair stuff um, and then this apparently this other team you know uh, they're hunting the Inhumans uh, whatever that girl's name is I'm glad that we, we find out who she is right away and we don't spend uh, another season uh, trying to figure out who it is, you know, and stuff like that, because it, it gets kind of repetitive, you know, kind of the whole, oh, there's someone who's high, who's doing this and that, we got to find out who this person is, find out who this person is, you know, and instead, just know who it is, and how do you stop it right away from the beginning, you know, stuff like that, that's what it'd be cool to see, uh, and do, t do different, take it out, spin it up, and stuff like that, so I'm glad we see that, and seeing, uh, was it Slash, or forget the, forget the guy's name, the Inhumans, or Trash, that he was pretty cool. I didn't get to see too much of him because it was mostly in the dark and stuff, but uh, it was pretty cool to see him uh, up and around. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool to see Lincoln and Sky go up full out at there. That was pretty good. Her, their special effects with their powers look still look very good. It uh, doesn't look uh, cheap, like doesn't look too cheap TV quality and stuff like that. It looks still look good. Um, and it was interesting seeing the uh, uh, that president uh, do the speech about the Inhumans and stuff and stuff like that, uh, which is the, definitely I still think the same president from well from the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is pretty cool that they're you know staying true to that and stuff like that. And of course they would. Um, but uh, and then at the beginning when uh, uh, when Fitz was going in, in the car and he was wearing those glasses, he looked a lot. Look, he looked a lot like Daredevil in like the gray suit and the you know uh, the gray suit and the the round glasses and stuff. He looked a lot like Daredevil. Would be cool to it's a cool thing to see that. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was cool to see them. It was cool to see Fitz you know doing his thing and stuff and not giving up. And uh, you know definitely can't wait to see uh, what happens next with that and. With the whole thing with Ward coming up next episode, um, you know, uh, not being, like, kind of rebuilding Hydra, I don't know if I'm going to be interested in that. Hopefully, you know, they just take the name Hydra and they kind of spit it off into their own, uh, their own, uh, their own thing or something like that. But even then, I feel like the whole, the name Hydra is a very risky move to do. I mean, him of all people, he should know. Uh, you know the Avengers Iron Man and stuff like that and Tony would have would have software even after Age of Ultron He would still have Jarvis someone something some software searching for Hydra and anything Hydra is scanned and double scanned So as soon as anything like that not only is he worried about shield uh, now the Avengers Association, you know uh, he, You know he should be worried about using the word Hydra. That's why why I don't think that that's a good idea to use Hydra Maybe he could do his own setup and stuff like that 
um, but uh, he had, really has to be uh, careful and stuff like that. Because I feel like you know, because if, if he started, if he like started do, giving off too many symptoms of creating, uh, trying to bring back Hydra and stuff like that, I feel like Iron Man or Captain America or someone would just find him fast and just take him out, you know, uh, because. You know, because they're 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 searching for that all the time. They don't want to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, you know, I, I really don't think that that that's a good idea. But who knows? We we'll have to wait and see. I and mean, obviously, I don't think we're going to see any of those characters in the show. But I just feel like in the whole bits of the show, it would be cool to see. Uh, you know, I don't think that that's a good idea because of that. Uh, for him to keep using the Hydra name, because if it got out uh, that he's bringing used to, he's trying to bring back Hydra or do his own version of Hydra. Uh, you know that they would be, the Avengers would be taking them on, I mean, uh, you know, it would be coming after and stuff like that. I mean, they were at the beginning of the, the first, uh, I mean, they were specifically for, for the, for the Loki staff and stuff, but, uh, you know, the Avengers were after Hydra and stuff, so, um, but other than that, I think that's it there. I definitely would like to see some references to Jessica Jones and Daredevil. I mean, not, I don't know if we'll get some with Jessica Jones, but it would be cool to see some references to Daredevil, uh, you know, like Coulson just kind of, you know, someone seeing something of Daredevil, you know, uh, somewhere, you know, or whatever goes on in Jessica Jones, if, I don't know if in Jessica Jones there could be some sort of video, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, some of her using her powers, or, you know, Luke Cage, or Luke Cage in the Jessica Jones series, someone, you know, uh, they're, they're fighting, and, you know, you see the video, it just goes on YouTube, and someone could be on their, their iPad, or their, or their tablet, and kind of, going through, oh look, and watching, seeing Daredevil or something, uh, it would be cool to see something about Daredevil on the show. Obviously, not necessarily a crossover, which would be awesome, but I doubt we're going to see that. Um, I think it'd be cool to see even just them, like, a Ben Yurick article, you know, uh, and some, somebody's just reading it, you know, oh, I like to read these articles about the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. and Mr. Yurick, you know, stuff like that, that would be cool, uh, you know, to have, have someone could be reading old S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, uh, you know, Coulson could be reading, uh, you know, uh, you know, Ben Yurt articles from the from Avengers. You know, that would be cool. That would be very cool. They're connected to Daredevil and stuff. I have everything all connected. That would be very cool. Oh, let me take a sip. Yeah, just surfing, like reading old, old files and old, old, you know, newspapers and stuff uh, with Ben Yurt written on it. And then it's like, oh my God, Ben Yurt can write some tweets or something like that. So I think that would be cool to see. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.